Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we're eating scorpion in Vietnam. We're here with V from One Trip Adventures, and she's gonna teach me all about scorpions and scorpion culture. I'm gonna do that again. Hi, my name is Sonny, and I grew up in the USA. More specifically, Minnesota. Far from oceans, far from any cultural diversity, so I'm not used to eating things like this. I'm much more adapted to eating tater tot hot dish or walleye from a fish fry. But today I must quiet my inner Midwesterner and awaken the warrior within. The one who's not afraid of eating a uh, scorpion. You ate these growing up though, right? What? Did you, how many have you eaten like this week? Is this your first time? Oh. We're back for round two in Boca Plua, everyone's favorite place to nosh on all manner of creepy crawlers. Last time I tried their cricket pizza and giant crickets. These are the questions in my head right now. Why? Why did I make a show with a format where I eat things like this? But this time, we're taking it to the next level. I'm here with the owner of Boca Plua and I've got some questions. Who is your typical kind of customer? Boca Plua has been up and running for two years, making the dream of eating insects and reptiles come true for locals and foreigners alike. Not so many Vietnamese people have eaten this kind of food before. So they come here, take the challenges, and yeah, they want to try the new thing. Are you nervous? About eating this? Yeah, I'm turning scared. Yeah, I'm a little scared. I've got something I think will help us. Here it is. It's scorpion wine. Now, I talked to the nice lady at the market and I said, okay, is this gonna kill me? She's like, no. I'm like, but it'll make me sick, right? She said, no, it'll make you strong. Good. Also, here's how you know it's yeah, really yeah. healthy, guys. It has ginseng. Um, hi, that's from the earth, ginseng. It's from the earth. Scorpion wine, it's said to have many health benefits. The first of which is that it can help you actually forget that you ate a scorpion. So basically, this is one scorpion soul. So however much this scorpion could lift or bench press, you that gets added to what you can do. It tastes fine. All right, I think we just drank poison. I don't think there's any way that's good for you. All right, well, here we go. Oh, oh, it's so intense. Wow, that is a surprisingly light creature. You wanna know how they make the scorpions? First, you gotta dig it out of the nightmare freezer, then kind of wash it off with water and fry it till it explodes. Oh yeah, this food isn't terrifying. See, tomato rose, last, put a little bit of special sauce on it to tie it all together. Now that looks tasty. Is there still poison in here? I think no. Okay, good enough for me. Before serving the scorpion, they remove the poison, which is good. Unfortunately, everything else is still there. Oh, don't look at it. It's Do not make, food. don't make eye contact with it. I have a small mouth. I don't, not, I'm not bragging. It's really crunchy. What's the normal like situation where someone would eat scorpion? Bar mitzvah or someone's turning 16, sweet 16. People talk about man ability. It makes you more manly. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Done. I do think I cracked my filling open. Aside from that, pretty good. Um, well, anyways, your turn. I guess I'll bite. Just put it in your mouth and okay. start chewing. Don't think, just chew. Mm. Oh, you just ate the face. You ate that creature's head. Okay, are you gonna put this on your job resume? Okay. You know what happened? It was like a corn kernel the size of a marble on the back of my throat. Hold on. Really? If you compare the texture, it's like, mm, it's like if you ate a big insect. So if you just think of it that way, 
It's not a big deal. The truth is, no, not everybody has a scorpion in their lunchbox uh, on their way to work in Vietnam each day. Okay, I'll say, we'll see you next week, and you say, on the best ever food review show. What? Nah, let's not do that. Wow, that was a pretty crazy episode, huh, guys? There's a scorpion, I ate it. I mean, who even knows what happened for sure? Okay, well, if you enjoyed that video, uh, smash the like button, subscribe for new videos every week, and I have a question for you. Who is a food or travel vlogger who you follow, who, who you think is just killing it right now? Let me know in the comments. Let me know who else you like that's doing this similar type of thing. What's up from Vietnam? I'll see you next week.